everyone, it's Diabetic Danica. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm very excited to try out Dexcom G7. So other than my experience at work with the G7, I work as a diabetes educator, I have not put one on myself yet, and so I got a sample given to me from a Dexcom rep so I can try it out, put it on, and give it a whirl. So the Dexcom G7 is still a 10-day sensor, but they eliminated the separate sensor transmitter two-piece scenario that you have to put together. So in the past with the G6, you had to put on the sensor and then clip in a separate transmitter, which was a piece of plastic. Now it's all combined into one unit, and so it's completely disposable after the 10 days before you had to keep the transmitter for three months and keep using it. So um, it all comes preloaded in an inserter, so I think it'll be easier for people to not have the two separate pieces to juggle and easier to know that you can just toss the whole thing and start fresh every 10 days. There's also some different alerts added in, some different features. There's a shorter warm-up period. It used to be two hours and now it's, I don't know the official statement, but it's usually for my patients less than 25 minutes. There's also a 12 hour grace period, so you get 12 hours to change out the sensor before it'll stop giving you data after the 10 days is up. And most importantly, it's supposed to be more accurate than the G6. The MARD is better, and so um, the accuracy has improved as well. So let's go ahead and open it up and try it on. So the sensor transmitter combo um, all in one comes in a box like this. Let's go ahead and open this up. We'll just pull on here. Ta-da! So this is what it looks like. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is just twist the cap off. So we'll twist. And you can see in there is the back of the adhesive and also the needle and sensor that's gonna go in. And basically what you do is you just push the transmitter against your body enough for this clear piece to retract into the device. See how that pushes? So you just push it against yourself, it'll go in, and then that'll allow you to be able to push the button on the side and actually insert it. I just realized I forgot an alcohol swab, so I'm gonna be right back. And I'm gonna adjust the camera too. So as you can see, I have my infusion set on my arm as well. So I'm gonna put it kind of below that, probably right in between all these freckle mole thingies. Cool. I'm gonna let that dry really good and then I'll just pop it on. I'm trying to make it so you can see my face too, but it's a little difficult. All right, so I'm just gonna place it against my arm, about there, push down, and then push the button. One, two, three. Oh, did not feel a thing. Let it stick really good and take it off. My first Dexcom G7! They also recommend you go around the tape, I think it's I don't know, five times, something like that. Make sure it's stuck down really good. And hold the center, make sure it's stuck down really good. I think it's like 10 to 15 seconds or something like that. And there you have it. It does come with an overtape as well, so let me grab that. So the overtape comes in the little info packet. It's this thing here. And it's really easy to mess these up, so we'll see if I get it right the first time. So there's two clear parts you're gonna pull away. There's one here, and then the second one to get it, you wanna really touch only the green edge here, and then reach in the center to grab the edge of the clear. Trying to show you while also not messing it up. Please don't mess it up. Oh my gosh, I didn't mess it up. Then keep only holding the green edge. Otherwise, again, easy to mess up. And then I'm gonna reach around and try to line it up in the camera. Okay. <laughs> then they want you to really rub around the patch. Um, heating it up to your skin is what helps it stick, basically. So rubbing around, making sure it's warm. And then you can peel off the green. Oh, look at that crease. Oh well, could have been worse. There she is, Dexcom G7. Hey, hey. Oh, okay, we did it. 
All right, it's on. I did not feel the poke at all and it feels really good. It's so much smaller than the other Dexcom G6. I probably should have mentioned that before. Obviously the profile is way slimmer. It's flat, it's little. It's actually crazy how little it is. That's really cool. So I have my phone here. I'm gonna go ahead and start it up on my app. You're gonna need, of course, the sensor code or transmitter code or whatever they're calling it these days. Uh, it's four digits on your inserter up here. But first I'm gonna have to go through all the menus on the app, so. I already logged into the app, so we'll just have to go through kind of the usual, make sure your Bluetooth is connected, um, set up your alerts, all that kind of stuff. All right, it just found my transmitter sensor combo. I don't know what to call it anymore. And it says pairing complete. I have 20 minutes left in my warm up, and then it'll just start reading my blood sugar and checking it every five minutes. So that's gonna do it for this video. My next video will be my experience with it after wearing it for 10 days and kind of more details as I learn the app better after using it. Um, I am gonna continue to wear my G6 because as you guys probably know, I have a tandem insulin pump that links up with the G6 and automatically adjusts my insulin. So I'm not gonna switch to the G7 fully until I actually can link that one with my pump at some point, which they're working on. So, um, but yeah, I just thought I'd try it out for 10 days and then get back to you. The app is a little bit different with the G6. They kind of move some stuff around and it does seem to give you more information on what's going on with your sensor and everything. The basics, the bones of it are gonna be the same, of course, which is a good thing in terms of functionality and how to view your blood sugar. It does integrate with Dexcom Clarity now, so you can see your Dexcom reports in your Dexcom app if that's something that interests you. Um, I'm excited to kind of explore the app more and see what we have going on. Um, my alerts I just imported from my other app in terms of my high and low alert and everything like that. Of course, just like with any pretty much any CGM. I guess technically the 14 day Libre doesn't have alarms, but pretty much any CGM. Um, you can have alarms for highs and lows and a bunch of extra personalization to your alarms that I'll probably get into in the next video. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Leave a comment down below if you'd like, if you've tried G7 or your thoughts on G7 and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks guys, bye. Dexcom G7. Bye.